Hello, good afternoon, here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the best way that I believe to rear calves on a small scale, bottle feeding them and using a six teat drink feeder then to make the work a lot easier. So we've got five nice calves here, and I'm going to take you through the process of how I feed them. Now when it comes to rearing calves, milk powder is a big part of it. For the first five to eight weeks, depending on how long you're going to feed milk and piss into the calves, milk is going to be the main part of their diet. So this is a local milk to me, Cumnant Milk, it's a good quality milk replacer. There's good companies on the market, Bolak do some good milk, similar uh, Wednesday do some good makes as well. Now it's very important to buy the best calf milk replacer you can buy, but take into account the cost of the milk to actually, actually what you're going to get for the calf later on, so make sure those sums and figures work out right. There's no point buying the best calf milk replacer there is for some second grade calves because they're not going to come on to be fantastic cows. But if you've bought some fantastic calves in, first grade calves, then it might be worth considering buying the higher end milk replacer to feed those calves. Now, I'll show you how I mix the milk replacer. When you're mixing, make sure that you get all this powder mixed in. You don't want it to clog up. I'll show you what I what I mean. So we've got two gallons of water there and I've weighed enough powder here to feed five calves. Depending on the maker powder you buy, the, the amount that you need to mix up per litre is slightly different. So we just tip this in. A little trick when you're mixing it, I've got a proper mixing tool here, which is quite good, much better than a stick. So when you're starting it off, put the powder into the water. Now that clog in there, you don't want none of that in the milk, because that's going to block up the teat and the calf won't be able to stick the milk. So it's quite, it mixes quite easy. Just keep pushing the powder in. And once all that powder is wet, we're not going to have the dust then, and you can turn it a bit quicker. Just scrape it off the edge. There's two types of drinkers I use. When the calves first come in here, for the first week I feed them on a bottle. Now, these teats, they feed really slow. So what I do, I don't know if you can see there, I cut a little slot there with a knife. So the, so the calf can drink much quicker. Now these teats are designed to imitate a cow's at the, so they're gonna pump the milk out. But when you hand rearing calves, you don't want them to feed like that, you want them to feed quick and fast so the milk remains hot and it doesn't cool down for them because they're drinking cold milk, they've got a chance to catch pneumonia. So, first week, feed them on the bottle, make sure that everybody gets the right amount of feed and get them used to sucking on the teeth because some of the calves might be off the mother, some might already be on a bottle or a milking machine system and they're quite easy to integrate into your own system. And once I finish with this, we move on to something like this then. This is a six teat feeder made by GFC on a small unit rearing calf on a small scale. This is fantastic and I'll show you now how this works. Alright, so we're just about to enter the calf pen. These calves are pretty hungry. We feed them on a two feed per day basis. You couldn't do it three. But what the experience that I found, feeding them two times a day suits good. They eat the cake well, they eat the straw well, and we get good results on a two day feeding system. Now it works well if you're working in the day, you can feed them in the morning and feed them in the evening when you're back. 
And just a little tip here, yeah, when you're picking calves in the mat, when you're going to buy some calves. If they're already on a milking machine type system or bottle fed, they're a lot less work. So when they come into your system here, yeah, they know what a bottle is, know what a teat is, and they can bring that milk in really quick. If you're buying a calf that's on them, off the mother, hasn't seen a teat before, doesn't know what a bottle is, sometimes just to teach that calf how to drink from a bottle can take up to two weeks. So that's all you got to do when you're walking through a pen full of calves. Two fingers, stick it out in front of them, and to see if they suck it. And if they're sucking their fingers, you know for a fact they're used to a bottle or a teat machine or a milking machine and feeding them is going to be easy back on the farm. So, as you can see, these calves know exactly what the JFC 60 feet there means. They've been on it now for a good week. And they get up to the age where they're pretty strong. I don't want them to feed suck on that empty for too long, so I'm going to get the milk in there now straight. So when, if you've got six calves on the 60 feeder, you fill it up is pretty easy. I've only got five, so I'm going to keep one empty. So I start with the furthest one, and then work my way down. Now just make sure they feed in on there nicely, not crisscrossing over each other. Very important, when the calves are on, on the system feeding, keep eye on them. We've got a limousine bull calf here and a beef shot on here. They finish the milk straight away. We've got the blue and the Aberdeen here and this other limb, they're much, much slower. What you'll find, you've got a dominant calf, he or she will finish her compartment of milk and then she'll steal the calf's next door compartment as well. And the other calf, maybe not as big and strong, can't fend it off. So for the first couple of weeks, Keep eye on them, make sure they're not seeing each other's milk. And the little trick I do, just let them suck your fingers. No one wrestle them, no need to fight them in the pen. Stick your fingers out, and they're occupied there while the other calf is finishing off the milk. Now there's a few things you're going to make sure that you take care of when you're looking after calves. Feeding milk is, is just one aspect of it. Make sure that you've got access to good clean straw, because that's high in fibre, very good for the digestive system. Clean water. And plenty of feed. Get them going nice and strong. Because obviously these calves are not on the mother. They need a bit of extra hand to grow them nice and big. Well, you've seen how we feed calves here at Brimbach. And it's quite an easy system really. Even though we've got a small head of calves here, it's not very time consuming to look after them and feed them. And if you're a farm and you've got a shed spare or just an area like this, I'd use a corner of the, the cow shed here. Get a nice little extra earner for the farm. Rearing calves is a really good way of doing it. And it's actually a pleasure, pleasure in job. It's one of the, my favorite aspects of farming really, hand rearing calves. If you're a farm or a small holding and you're thinking of keeping calves, I'd highly recommend it. You don't need a big fancy system. I'm just using a corner of one shed here. And I probably rear really between five and 12 calves a year. And it's a nice little earner for the farm really. You're not utilizing a whole building. Calves at this age, 
you don't need much feed. There's a bag of milk per calf, some cake and some straw, water and some clean bedding. And that's it for the winter really. And when the spring comes, they're out on grass. You don't need to give them any extra feed then. Finish them off on a grass based system. And you can either sell them then, wean calves, hopefully make a little bit of money or keep them for another winter and sell them almost finished or fully finished and uh, you get the maximum value out of them then. So I sell my calves at three being 14, 18 months of age. Sometimes they're finished, sometimes they're not. So thanks for watching the video and hopefully you've learned one or two things of how I rear calves here at Bimbach.